Well, hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another adventure in Eagle Territory here at the National Eagle Center. My name is Jared, and I'm going to take you guys on a walkthrough talking about one of the most important subjects for our ambassadors, their footwear. And by footwear, I'm talking about what they sit on. Now remember, in Eagles, they spend 90 to 95% of the daylight hours perching. That is a long time of your day sitting in one spot doing nothing. That's what Eagles do the best. And in nature, you're never sitting on anything flat. There's bumps, you're on rocks, bark, all sorts of abrasive material. And even in humans, it's important for us to stand on not smooth materials all day. It can really cause a lot of pain if you're standing on something smooth. So the footwear for our eagles is an important aspect. So the real question is, how do we go from this raw iron, which is ridiculously smooth, and notice the shape, it's a bow perch, not very creative name, it looks like a bow. How do we go from this smooth metal to this, a finished bow perch, abrasive across the top, a lot of uh, edges on it to keep our eagles feet nice and healthy? Well, we're gonna walk you through it. The most important part is what the perch is made out of, that sisal rope. This rope is very abrasive and it's not oil, it's oil free. It's just sisal rope, a very abrasive rope material. And well, the first step is attaching it to the perch. The way we do it here at the National Legal Center is we attach the rope to the perch with a pipe clamp, just your classic pipe clamp. We can make sure it's nice and screwed on, fastened on there. It's amazing what technology can do to make perch wrapping so much easier. And you can see that's on there nice and tight. Now, if you are working at home with sisal rope, remember to wear gloves. This stuff will chew your hands up. It's really dangerous to work with barehanded just because you'll get a lot of slivers. It's a pretty nasty material, but our eagle's feet are so tough, doesn't hurt them at all. It's very healthy for them. Our hands are a little soft, so I'm gonna put eagle feet worth of gloves on, very thick material. And the way we start wrapping is literally just taking the rope and wrapping it over, making sure it's nice and tight the entire time as we go. And as you can see, this is going to take a while. So everyone at home, sit, uh, get nice and comfy in front of your screens and get ready to watch as we turn this raw iron perch into a perfectly wrapped perch. As you're wrapping these perches, you have to be really careful to make sure the coils are tight on top of each other. If they're loose, then the bird's talons could end up stuck between them, bits of food could end up between them. You just gotta make sure that the coils are tight. Now, you could just brute force your way through it to make sure these coils stay tight, but what if you're doing six, seven of these perches in one day? That's a lot of brute strength to try to make it through. Well, there's a fancy way to make it work, easier. Just use a hammer. All you have to do is take the hammer, hit down on the coils a couple times, and they all get sucked into each other. That way you get the tightest wrap possible. And by doing this every three or four wraps, you make sure that across the entire perch, it's a nice, tight, solid perch. All right, as you can see, we have our perch completely finished. It's fully wrapped and it looks awesome. These coils are as tight as they can get. The last few steps are actually making sure that it doesn't unwind again. The way we achieve that is by using another pipe clamp. So just take your drill, get it put that pipe clamp on nice and tight, and boom, your perch is now not gonna unwrap. There is one final safety issue though. These pipe clamps themselves, they can be fairly sharp, and that could pose a pretty serious hazard to our ambassadors. Well, we have a fix for that too. We can take electrical tape and wrap it onto these pipe clamps a bunch of times, basically adding a bumper, adding a little bit of padding to these so that they're not sharp, there's no sharp edges anywhere, and equipment can't get stuck on these edges. Remember, the ambassador will hopefully be sitting at the top, but these eagles are pretty curious about their enrichment, things that we can give them to keep them occupied, and sometimes the enrichment falls to the ground. Well, the ambassador is gonna go down and get it, and we don't want them to get hooked on anything. So we can just take our fancy electrical tape here, make sure to catch all the sharp edges, and just start wrapping it over and over and over again. One perch like this could take us almost a full roll of electrical tape, because we want to make sure this is as smooth and not sharp as possible. Everything we do here at the National Legal Center is for the care of our ambassadors. And that's always our most uh, important priority, is their safety and well-being in our care. Well, that includes their perching. 
We just gotta make sure it's all as safe as possible. And ladies and gentlemen, there we go. A complete rewrapped bow perch for the National Eagle Center. Both sides are fully wrapped with electrical tape, no edges, nice and smooth for our ambassadors, very rough at the top to keep their feet healthy. And a perch like this with, uh, you know, giving to Angel could last us about a month. If we give it to Washaka, I'll be replacing it in another week. Washaka is pretty rough on our perching just because he wants the best material possible. And if it's not brand new, it's not good enough for Washaka. So thank you all so much for joining me today. We want to thank you all for coming, for joining us for this video. And we hope to see you again for our next Adventures in Eagle Territory.